Well everyone, um, in today's video I'm going to be making a landscape collage using just uh, four or five different colour grades of paper. Um, for the kind of best result you want to kind of try and have them all in the same colour range. So if you had four or five different shades of blue or red or green, whatever colour you want to use, um, and you want to put the lightest colour in the background, so in this case it'll be the sky, and the darkest colour in the foreground, so it just adds depth to it. Now I kind of just cut the shapes out of the paper and uh, left them as solid colour. You could cut little bits of uh, a lighter colour and use them as a highlight on them if you wanted. All I'm doing here at the minute is I'm, I've already cut out some of the layers. In this one I'm just showing you I had it uh, drawn out on a piece of paper. I took that piece of paper and I stuck it to the back of the coloured paper and drew around it just to have the image right because uh, the colour paper is fairly soft and it kind of takes the indentation of the pencil fairly easily so you don't want sort of a big groove showing through it uh, and this is a handy enough way of getting around it so if you want you can freehand it but just keep in mind if you make a mistake it is kind of hard to cover it up but well, you can't unless you just cut it out completely so I'm using a fairly light pencil here and once I finished uh, drawn around the template I moved on to cutting it out using a craft knife um, so this I think I speed this up in a sec here as well because it's it is just going back over the pencil line and uh, this is the same little um, knife I would have used with the stencil so it has a long sharp blade which makes it fairly easy to kind of get into any little details and stuff or any areas where there's um, sort of corners That's that layer finished cutting out now um, and in a sec now I'll bring over the other two layers that I cut previously so you'll see what we're up to it. There's not too much cutting in some of the other layers because the further back you go into the background um, the less detail there is and it's just with the pale blue it was just a case that there was trees up along the horizon line so that's that was the only real bit of cutting. You can kind of get away with um, probably nearly freehand and them with just a knife because if there's no detail there's nothing to worry about like you know and it's you're never going to have a perfectly level horizon so um, even if there's a bit of a wobble it's not a big deal so this is just layering them up to see how they look together and just to show roughly what we're up to um, one thing I did find that worked best was to stick them down one layer at a time rather than maybe say sticking all these three layers together and then putting them on the background So that's the sheet I'm using for the sky and I was about to go to work on it my studio assistant decided otherwise. Oh, that's Bella, she'll move off in a sec. Um, I have some of the layers stuck down and in between each layer I put a stack of heavy books on them just to make sure they're flattened because I think the, the bottom layer uh, buckled a little bit so it ended up with these kind of little air bubbles underneath so it was just to make sure it got a good um, good stick as we're putting them down and I just used some uh, cartridge, white cartridge paper just as clouds so you'll see it in the final shots of it. All I'm doing here is just uh, running around the final layer with the glue stick. Um, it'll probably depend on the brand. This particular glue stick dried fairly quick so it didn't leave an awful lot of time to play around. Just something to be aware of. It works well for this though because I don't know maybe the, the PVA glue might soak through in areas and then it dries hard so if you know you need to cover the whole off it probably get an even uh, finish on it this way you can just pull it down you don't have to go over the whole thing and it, it does the job there might be the odd section where maybe a corner will lift up as well that you might need to just put another little bit of glue in under just to get it to stay down
So all that's left now is to just line it up and put it down on the image. And in this case, it was the final layer. So there's nothing left after this other than to just trim off the spare side here on the right hand side. And the bottom of it was fine. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't 100% flush, but it, it was grand, it was okay, it wasn't a big deal. So once you have it done, it's kind of ready to, if you want to put it into a frame or if you wanted to, you know, mount it between some foam board or something like that, you could do. So at the end here, I just put the books back on it just to make sure everything is properly weighed down and is getting a good grip on the previous layers. And that's it done. So again, you can use any color you want um, and different colors will give you different temperatures. So because it's winter, I went with cool colors like blues for this, just to, uh, yeah, add to the feel and season. So that's the final workshop. Um, before Christmas if you keep an eye on our social media and we'll hopefully have new ones coming up in the new year.